In this video presentation, we will learn about patterns. Our learning target is to formulate the rule in finding the nth term using different strategies like looking pattern, guessing and checking, and working backwards. Try to find the next term. 13, 15, 17, 19, and... That's right! Next, 1, 10, 100, 1000. Next is very good. Next pattern, 90, 88, 86, 84. What is the next term? Very good. Now, what is the pattern? It is the order or arrangement of objects, shapes, letters, or numbers. Repeating a group of numbers, shapes, objects, or colors makes some patterns. Look carefully at the given patterns. Example number one. A, B, C, A, B, C. Example number two. Apple, orange, apple, orange, apple, and orange. Example number three. Two prisms, one pyramid, two prisms, and one pyramid. Patterns of numbers can be made by adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, or combining operations. Doubling numbers, adding or subtracting the same number to the previous term, adding two previous numbers to get the next term, or by repeating groups of numbers can form some patterns. Use this rule to generate the terms of the pattern. Start at 2, multiply by 2, and then stop at 32. Answer? We have 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. How are we able to get the next term from the first term? So we have here 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. There are two kinds of pattern. One is finite pattern. These are patterns that stop. Example. Start at 2, add 4, and then stop at 18. Another is infinite pattern. These are patterns without end. Example, 40, 35, 30, 25, dot, dot, dot. Or, these three dots or ellipses at the end of the last term shows there are more hidden numbers. Words can also be used to describe terms of a pattern. When you write a rule for number patterns or sequences, you should include all the necessary information. The rule should tell you where to begin, how to get the next term or number, and when to stop for finite patterns. Example The pattern is 5, 
10, 15, 20. What is the rule? We have add 5 starting at 5 and then end at 20. Next pattern. 30, 27, 24, 21. Dot, dot, dot. The rule is decrease by 3 starting at 30. You may also write a mathematical formula to describe the rule used in a number pattern. Express the formula for each term of the pattern in terms of counting number n. Verify the result by making a table of values. Substitute numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for n formula in the formula. Find out if the computed values match the given terms in the pattern. Here is the example or examples. Example number one. We have a pattern 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, dot, dot, dot. Following the rule 3n plus 2. So how are we able to get the next terms with a given pattern? So n here are the counting numbers and these are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's check if this rule that we follow is the correct way of finding the next term. Like 3 times n which is 1, that's 3 plus 2 equals 5. Next, we have 3 times 2 plus 2 equals 8. Next, counting number is 3. 3 times n which is 3 is 9 plus 2 equals 11. Next, 3 times n which is 4 that is 12 plus 2 equals 14. Next term. 3 times n which is 5 equals 15 plus 2 equals 17. So we have the pattern of 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. Following the rule 3 times n plus 2. Next example. The pattern is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. What do you think the rule? So, so we have here 2 plus 3 times n minus 1 in an open and close parenthesis. Remember class that n here stands for the counting number. So we made this table n counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let us check the first term following the rule. 2 plus 3 times n minus 1. Following the PEMDAS rule, we will do first what's inside the grouping symbol or the parenthesis. N stands for 1. So, 1 minus 1 equals, that's right, 0. So, 0 times 3 equals 0. Now, we have 2 plus 0 equals 2. Well, the first term is 2. Next. Following the same rule, 2 plus 3 equals, and here is 2 minus 1. So we will do first the operation inside the parenthesis. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Then 1 times 3 is 3. Plus 2 is 5. The next term here is 5. 
next let's use 3 so 2 plus 3 times 3 minus 1 so we will do first what's inside the parenthesis so 3 minus 1 is 2 next we will multiply 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 next we will go to accounting number 4 or 2 plus 3 times 4 minus 1 so let's do first what's inside the parenthesis 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 equals 11 and last term we have 2 plus 3 times Counting number 5 minus 1. So we'll do first what's inside the grouping symbol. 5 minus 1 is 4. And 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 equals 14. So what is the pattern? We have 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Next example, we have here the pattern 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and we will use this or the rule is n squared or n times 2. Again, n stands for the counting numbers. So, n is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. Then 2 squared is 4. We have 4. Next, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. So, what is the rule? We have n squared or n times 2. And the pattern is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Since this is an infinite pattern, what do you think the next term? Following the same rule. Mm, very good. Now for your activity, study the pattern. Give the rule for each pattern. Write the next three terms to continue. Then write the answers in the blanks. Number 1, 19, 17, 13, 11. And what are the next three terms? And what is the rule? For number 2, you have 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, what are the next three terms? And what is the rule? For number three, you have circle, triangle, square, red circle, violet triangle, and green square. What are the next three terms? And what is the rule? You'll be given 5 minutes to answer. Alright, time is up. That's all for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you for watching.